Today I'm going to give you a hip pocket class on the main pack that you'll be using at OCS and TBS. We'll take a quick look at the pack. I'll give you packing and wearing basics. I'll point you to some resources, provide a hiking summary, and also fill you in on some additional details concerning the main pack at OCS and TBS. Okay, so this is the main pack. This is what you're going to stuff before all of your hikes and field exercises at OCS and TBS. As you can see, it's got uh, these strips of material running from side to side all over. Uh, this is called the MOLLE system, and MOLLE stands for Modular Lightweight Load Carrying Equipment. And a lot of the gear that you will have issued will be MOLLE equipped. So how the MOLLE system works is it allows you to attach smaller pouches to the outside of the pack or whatever other MOLLE gear you have with uh, these straps and basically what you do is you weave these straps through these strips of uh, material and you'll get plenty of practice with that at OCS and TBS and beyond. So now let's take a look at the pack. We'll start with the zippered lid. This is how you open the pack from the top and it's got a zipper on the outside and also a zipper on the inside. They both lead to the same pouch here but you've got two uh, points of uh, entry into the uh, top flap here. Next we've got the main body of the pack and this is where you'll stuff most of your gear. Then we've got the bottom compartment and the bottom compartment and this middle compartment here are separated by a zippered flap which I've got zippered shut right now but uh, you can't open this up if for whatever reason you need to use the entire height of the pack. Here is the other side of the pack. You've got your shoulder straps and you've got your hip belt as well. And uh, on some of these packs the hip belt has a tendency to come loose as you're wearing it and after you've pulled it tight. So I will link a fix for that in the description box. The pack itself sits on a hard plastic frame and this frame holds everything else together. So as you can tell, the pack has all sorts of buckles and straps, and the idea here is that uh, once you're done packing, you are going to cinch everything nice and tight using these uh, buckles and straps. Packing and wearing your main pack and the rest of your gear properly is crucial, especially at TBS for reasons that I'll explain in a minute. Not doing this correctly will cause you all sorts of pain. Thankfully, packing the main pack is pretty simple. Uh, you're going to start by loosening all of the various straps on the sides, like this guy here. You're going to loosen everything so that you can expand the pack to maximum capacity, and you're doing that to maximize the space that you can work with. Next, you're going to uh, compress your contents. Now, at uh, OCS and TBS, you'll get these compression bags. And what this allows you to do is stuff the bag, then you're going to roll it up and make it airtight, and then you can uh, squeeze it so that all the air comes out and so you're not uh, having any dead space in the contents of your pack. Third, you're going to put your sleeping gear in the sleep compartment, which is this bottom part of the pack here. Fourth, rain gear goes into the zippered lid. You're going to have a uh, poncho, which is basically like a tarp, and then you're also going to have some other uh, rain gear, including a Gore-Tex, which is an outer uh, covering. Fifth, everything else goes into this middle compartment, and you will want the heaviest items closest to that plastic frame and between your shoulder blades as much as possible. Sixth, once you've stuffed your pack properly, you're going to compress it from the outside using your straps. So the strap that you loosened before, you're going to pull it nice and tight and you're basically, you want everything as tight to the frame as possible. The one exception you can implement is to use the various pouches that you receive and mount them on the outside of the pack. And you'd be doing this to maximize the internal space that you have available and also to make certain items easier to access. As far as wearing the pack, you're going to want to prevent it from sagging as much as possible. And so what you want to think of here is you want that frame as tight to your back as possible, and you also want it fairly high up on your shoulders. 
Now you're going to get a brief about the pack and wearing it and adjusting it and the rest of that at OCS and TBS. But uh, I've uh, put together a checklist on the shared drive as a sort of SOP for preparing to wear the pack and actually putting it on for when you have to do that. So for visuals on the main pack and the various adjustments and the troubleshooting for it and for other equipment that the Marine Corps is uh, fielding as well, the good people at Marine Corps Systems Command have uh, put together extensive videos explaining everything. Finally, I've also linked a fix to the hip belt problem that I mentioned below. So make sure to check out all of the resources in the description box. Next, let's talk about the hiking schedule. So you'll do up to nine miles at OCS and up to 15 miles at TBS with a bunch of shorter hikes throughout, which typically start at three miles and get progressively longer until those final hikes. Finally, I want to just give you a couple things to keep in mind and stow away as you head into the training pipeline. You'll have a gear issue at both OCS and TBS, but the one at TBS will include more gear which is uh, significant for these three reasons. Uh, reason one is that at TBS you can expect to hike with heavier total loads because you will be uh, bringing more equipment to the field because you'll be staying in the field longer. Reason two, uh, at TBS you'll get body armor. We use sappy plate carriers and uh, these things make hiking a little bit more difficult. Uh, first, because they're an added weight, Second, because they put more compression on your uh, torso. Third reason, uh, or third thing concerning the gear issue is that at TBS, you will get additional gear that makes your pack easier to work with. And uh, what I mean by this is that you will get two hydration pouches and two sustainment pouches. They're roughly the same size and shape, and you will have space to attach all four to the outside of the pack. Now, the reason that you might want to do this is that uh, it will help you avoid going into your pack and digging things out and having to repack everything. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or suggestions, let me know. And as always, remember, it is not about you. Stay hungry, stay humble, stay out of trouble. Take care.